Hi, I'm Alex Butler, host of our series, Investing in America. As innovations are created to face today's challenges, private equity is helping companies quickly expand to meet ever-growing demand in the marketplace. To discuss how private equity is helping his company ramp up production to meet industry need is Chris Guerreri, CEO of Victory Innovations. Chris, so wonderful to have you here with us today. Thanks for having me, Alex. I'm, uh, I'm really appreciative of this time. Now, Chris, can you begin by telling our viewers a little more about Victory Innovations and the products that you manufacture? Sure, I'd love to. I had the opportunity to start Victory Innovations with two great partners that I had worked with in the past. And really the idea was, can we develop a line of cordless electrostatic sprayers that would be used with specialty chemicals to help disinfect and sanitize large surfaces, everything from schools to gyms to um, to sporting arenas. Uh, and uh, so we launched that line about six years ago. And uh, recently we sold uh, our, our company and we got a great investment from the Carlisle Group uh, in the private equity realm. Now, how are Victory Innovations electrostatic backpack and handheld disinfectant sprayers making a difference in the fight against COVID-19? That's great, Alex. And, and to be honest with you, this has really uh, taken a marketing message we've been trying to push for the last three or four years and really announce it to the world. And our message for anyone using uh, protocols to clean and disinfect is there's a difference between making a surface clean and making a surface safe. What we do is we help make surfaces safe by allowing chemicals to be sprayed through our machines in large quantities and on large amounts of surfaces, like an entire locker bank in a school and kill any pathogens or germs that are on that entire locker bank. The key to everything is each chemical that you spray will literally have the amount of time you're supposed to leave the surface wet. And an example of a wipe, on the back of the wipe, it says, when you use this wipe, please leave the surface wet for four minutes. If you do that, you can kill 99.9% .9 of the bacteria. I think we all know that when we use wipes, we don't leave the surface wet for four minutes. With our sprayers, we give you enough coverage that that surface will stay wet for the amount of dwell time, wetness, that the chemical says it will. And hence, we get a better kill rate uh, by letting the chemicals do their job. Now, private equity firm, the Carlisle Group, recently invested in Victory Innovations this September. How is this new private equity partnership already helping your company expand, hire more workers, and ramp up production of critical high-tech disinfectant tools? That's a great question. We've, we've actually gotten help in so many areas quickly uh, that it's a little bit uh, stunning. The first thing we've gotten was some excellent coaching. There's a team of high-level uh, CEOs that are helping uh, these private equity companies really take businesses to the next level. So the coaching is excellent. The second thing is they have a much broader reach. 90% of our current sales are within the U.S. today. Uh, the Carlisle Group, with their expansive network, is hooking us up with leaders and businesses and, and, and entrepreneurs that are scattered all over the world so we could take the victory sprayers outside the U.S. And then the last piece is, you know, we started this company uh, working with an uh, international manufacturing company, and they're literally asking us, Chris, it's time to bring this work back to the U.S., uh, which you know, my father was a UAW worker. I'd love to bring the work back here, and they're going to allow us to start bringing some manufacturing back to the U.S. And just in this short period of time that we've been working with them, we've actually gone from eight workers in the U.S. to over 50 uh, employees here. What advice would you give to other American businesses considering partnering with private equity? Yeah, what I love is in the, in the book of Ecclesiastes, they actually talk about two being better than one. We had a team, we knew what we knew, but there was so much outside of that we didn't know. When you add the Carlisle Group through PE with Victory Innovations, we're just going to be a much better company. We're going to have better expertise. We're going to have access to better markets. We're going to have um, more access to capital. Uh, and it's really going to allow us to live our entire dream out, which is to get victory sprayers across the world fighting uh, in infectious diseases and sanitizing and disinfecting as many spaces as possible. And as the United States begins to enter a second wave of COVID-19, what additional steps can Americans take to stay safe and minimize the spread of the virus? Yeah, I'm not going to proclaim to be an expert here, but what I can tell you is that 
through electrostatic sprayers, um, you have the best chance to keep surfaces clean and safe uh, for your employees, for kids that are in school, for when we're traveling. And a great example is Delta Airlines is now advertising that they're literally using our electrostatic sprayers to spray between every flight that people get on. I can tell you when I travel, I wanna fly on Delta Airlines because I know they're doing everything they can uh, to keep me safe. And I think if restauranteurs, if hotels, if sporting events wanna bring the fans back, wanna bring people back to work, they need to show them a visible sign of what they're doing to keep them safe. And we allow them to do that. In fact, we have folks that are literally spraying so that their customers can see them at places like Planet Fitness today. Great. Well, thank you so much, Chris. We really appreciate you being here with us and speaking with us. And I hope that you'll all join us next time for our series, Investing in America.